Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to Eat, Move, Rest. We've got Miss Olivia in the house and Miss Zoe back here. So it has officially been one week since we had to evacuate for Hurricane Milton. Thank goodness our house was safe. And even more important, thank goodness we were safe. So if you have not already, check out that vlog. And if you have not already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Eat, Move, Rest fam and you can check out all the fun things linked below in the description that we mentioned throughout this video. Hey guys, it's a birdie. Yeah. He was at the <laughs> So if you guys like these day in the life videos, give this one a thumbs up. Leave me some love in the comments below and be sure to follow us daily on Instagram. We answer all of our DMs over there. Let's jump right in. So we have been feeling a little or a lot under the weather. So especially Dusty and Max, they are actually still sleeping, getting their recovery rest. So we are making a green juice, an orange juice. We're gonna have ourselves a nice little breakfast and save a bunch for them so they can feel better. Woo! But I'm swinging first try West side, tell my mama that I said hi Channel 9, got my smile in the headlines I'ma save babies, I'ma make moves Every straight dog got a belly full of food Robin Hood style, how I do what I do We can all shine if we let ourselves loose It's gonna be a great day Finding my stride, I'ma do it my way Summer jam shine, we be playing all day Feel the sunlight Victory lit on the move. I've been feeling like I can't lose. This is a lifestyle I could get used to. So it has been quite some time since I've done a what I eat in a day video, and it has been such a long time since I've gotten into a rhythm with fitness because we were uprooted for a full week. For that, we were back in Nebraska for 11 days. Very weird for me to go like an entire week without movement. Movement actually gives you energy. So it's the opposite of what you would think. You would think, oh, if I exercise, it's gonna tire me out for the day, but it's so not true. Anyway, so I'm gonna get back into my exercise. On normal days, normal weeks, when I feel like I'm on top of things, I still feel like I don't have enough hours in the day to accomplish everything as a breastfeeding mom of three who makes all meals from scratch. Thank goodness Dusty is here to help with everything. We do work from home and we are very blessed with that. So while yes, I do try to maintain a healthy balance, it's also something more like a pendulum that swings and sometimes one thing has to be very out of balance for the other thing to get completed or come into fruition. So like writing our book, we were a little bit out of balance during that part of our lives, which by the way, if you have not already, be sure to pre-order our book. It is linked below. It comes out January 7th and we are so excited to share all of our family favorite plant-based, colorful, delicious, raw and cooked recipes and so much more. It's such a lifestyle book. You'll, you'll be able to put it on your coffee table and start conversations with it. If you have someone in your life who you think could benefit from it, it's the perfect conversation piece. All that being said, I just wanna share with you guys that I'm not perfect, I'm not superhuman, but I do have some things that I think help me to continue on. How do I get myself out of a hole? How do I get back on track? How do I keep going? Where do I find that motivation? So hopefully this will interest you guys. My top pick, I've been using this every single day since March when I first started it. So this is Oliveda's IO-1. So this is olive leaf extract with Camu Camu, which is the richest source of vitamin C. So it's great for collagen production, but also incredible for your immune system. And I've noticed such great glowing skin, better hair growth. I'm running out of this one. That's why I'm doing this. Um, but I really attribute this to why I did not get the same severity of illness. Also amping up my vitamin D. Another must have lifesaver, game changer, especially when it comes to getting back on track and feeling my best every single day 
magnesium breakthrough. So I had seen so many other people talking about it, raving about it. I actually just had a close friend of mine say, yes, you have to try it. It's a game changer. So magnesium breakthrough is unique because it contains seven forms of magnesium. If you weren't aware, there is more than just one type. That's why I like this because it covers all of your bases in one capsule. So everything from a better night's sleep, better rest, muscle repair and recovery, restless legs, aches and pains associated with fitness and otherwise. It can also be super helpful for those restless legs during pregnancy and digestion and elimination. So tons of benefits when you're getting the full spectrum. If you're interested, check out the link below as well as the discount code for you guys. You will not be disappointed. Okay, so let's see, all this stuff. Strawberry, raspberry, dragon fruit, jackfruit, mango, banana, and protein. So, <laughs> rather than setting everything out, we're just gonna be sloppy and messy because that's real life and that's what you guys wanna see. <laughs> this recipe has been one of our most popular within our family and in our membership, in our ebook, it's on our app, it's somewhere on social media as well. So if you want to find it easily, go to our app, which is in our membership, and we'd love to have you join. That's incredible. Yeah. We're gonna use a scoop of Sun Warrior. Helps amp us up for our workout. Okay, this is gonna be a big blend. It might need to thaw a bit more, but I'm gonna give it a go. I'm so hungry. It tastes like back in the day when I used to go to uh, soft serve Froyo places all the time. Yeah. And I'd get like their bubblegum flavor. Yeah. So if you guys weren't familiar why this actually tastes like bubblegum and not just looks like it, it's because of the jackfruit. You will be shocked. Actually, where juicy fruit bubblegum flavor came from. If you guys want to see a video with Zoe trying solids, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Pop it in the comments if that's a video you would be interested in seeing. She's going to be six months old in just a couple weeks and she is really reaching and grabbing for all of our food. Are you ready for solids? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Probably not the best way to start. I think what she needs is like a single ingredient like Banana or mango, maybe. Yeah, I'll be like a taste of jackfruit. That'd be fun. Here's a quick glimpse inside our stocked fridge. We've got tons of fruit on the top shelf as well as baked goods. We've got lactation brownies and muffins. We've got lots of basically salad ingredients on that second shelf there. Kids multi in the middle. We've got leftovers, a big hearty veggie stew, some Ezekiel bread, and another leftover pasta. That's pretty much the leftovers shelf. Greens, apples and citrus, and in the bottom, more salad things and celery and radish. And the side, we've got our coconut water, my Olaveda supplements. Top shelf is some more supplements. Drinks like orange juice, soy milk, coconut water, nutritional yeast, and other condiments of sorts in the top and bottom are green juice and things we put in our green smoothie like chia flax, hemp, spirulina, brazil nut, dulse, chlorella. Mm -mm. So I ended up working on my computer, have not done a workout yet, but I'm getting hungry and these lactation brownies are definitely the best. I love them so much because they are guilt-free. They're fun for the whole family. Even though, yes, they do help with lactation, they will not make your husband or your children lactate. They've got chia, flax, cacao, oats, banana, dates, brewer's yeast. So many good things to help with lactation. And they taste amazing.
Okay, so lunch is half gone now. It's super, super good. I've been so obsessed with tempeh lately and I just cook it on the stove top with a little bit of water and coconut aminos and it gives it kind of an Asian flair. So I put all kinds of veggies in my salad and I have some sauerkraut. I drizzled a little bit more coconut aminos on top because you guys know I'm obsessed with it. I added some fresh raw sprouted pumpkin seeds because it seemed kind of fall inspired and I've been loving them lately so that's my healthy fat and there's also a significant amount of healthy fat and of course lots of protein in the tempeh so if you're someone who loves like a chicken salad or an Asian inspired salad this would be a great alternative you can also make it into a sandwich which is what I did for Max and Liv so some of that avocado with spinach and then I added the tempeh in there as well, kept it super simple and straightforward. There's also the hourglass. Hurricanes blow so powerfully that they will actually carry water along with them. That's a pass over the sea. When they reach land, they cause a large swamp surge. All right, you guys. So it is actually so perfect right now. Um, it's finally not humid and finally not 100 degrees feeling here in Florida and I'm finally feeling like I'm getting a sigh of relief. We went from being gone in Nebraska for 11 days for two weddings, which was awesome and so much fun, but also very, very draining. And then right when we got home and unpacked our bags, we got news that a hurricane was coming our way and it was going to be very intense. Right after 11 days gone, repacking suitcases in a frantic, panicked state so that was very very stressful amidst all of that dusty and max got very sick so yeah felt a little bit drained from that whole experience and i get a lot of questions from you guys online about how do i do it all as a mom of three small children I try really hard to be healthy don't we yeah. and we're also running multiple businesses and we are homeschooling aren't we so how do we do it all? How does mommy do it? Am I a super mommy or am I just a, a regular mommy? I just want to be really transparent with you guys that it's not all sunshine and rainbows and that I am not a super mommy. I'm just a regular mommy doing my very best like all the other mommies watching our videos, right? <laughs> I have very, very difficult days, meltdowns and um, days where I don't feel like doing anything and I don't feel like working. I'm just learning that my daily to-do lists never truly get fully checked off. So I've stopped focusing on them being daily to-do lists and more so weekly to-do lists instead. The things that really truly help to empower me to make the most of everything that we've got going on in our lives and feel some semblance of balance. By looking at the bigger picture, I know that my to-do list barely ever gets checked off fully each and every day. I don't think it ever has, maybe once or twice when it's been like a short list. So instead, I focus on my list being a week long. So I make a list of things I'd like to accomplish throughout the week and it places less pressure on those days when something goes wrong, you know? Like, I want to shoot a YouTube video today, but then it ends up pouring rain and it's black and dark and dreary and I can't do what I wanted to do. Or maybe one of the kids gets sick and we have to tend to them and slow down and reel back on what our work plans were for the day. So I found a lot more success, like I said, looking at the bigger picture and not even just for the week I also do it for the month so I will schedule things out that seem to be clouding my mind a lot and lingering that I know I can't do right now right here I'll put them in my calendar during the month and then I, they're out of sight out of mind and I feel like just doing that typically before bed at night like I'll map out my next day loosely at the beginning of it that helps a lot too so my top tip for you is to do a brain dump before you go to bed, before you put your phone away, out of sight, out of mind. So make your tomorrow list and have it include your self-care. If you have kids or a partner, include that. 
include your spirituality or your soul supplementation, which is just as important as your daily multi. And then three major and non-negotiable tasks that you want to accomplish, putting the most important one first, and then second, and then third. And after that, all you have to do is put in those you know, week-long things that you want to tackle at some point if you have time to get to them. So give that a try. It should put your mind at ease so that you can rest better and then eat your healthiest waking up, get your movement, and it's just that eat, move, rest locomotive. On the bad days, it feels like almost impossible. Like, what am I doing? This is crazy. But on the good days, I remember, wow, I've got this and so do you. So don't judge yourself based on your bad days. Judge yourself based on your best days. Something Dusty and I have been doing lately is we'll be in the same room even. We'll text each other those affirmations at the end of the day or like, hey, sorry, I was wrong, you know, or hey, yeah, you were right. Or hey, you did, you've done a really great job today. And just these little things help so much to build each other up and help us to sleep easy, knowing that, you know, there really truly is no such thing as balance, but the pendulum swings. Can you tell everyone, eat, move, rest your best? Eat, move, rest your best. <laughs> okay, you guys, so tonight's dinner is one of our absolute favorites that's in our book, which is on pre-sale now coming January 7th. I think I already mentioned it, but I'm super excited about it. This recipe is so good because it's creamy and delicious and includes some of our absolute favorite spices, which really bring it to life. It's an Indian spiced creamy cauliflower curry, and it contains not only cauliflower, but peas, onions, garlic, and the best combination of spices you will ever try. So I started by sauteing some cumin seeds and a bay leaf in a splash of vegetable broth. Then I diced and sauteed a red onion with three minced cloves of garlic. While that is sauteing, then you take a quarter cup of soaked cashews and add them to a blender along with all of the spices, which includes garam masala, ginger, turmeric, cinnamon, salt, as well as some tomatoes. Once you add your spices in, you blend everything until it's nice and creamy and smooth. So before adding the blended sauce to the pot, I will break up my cauliflower into florets and add it to the pot and then drizzle the sauce on top and let everything simmer, adding in some peas as well. And then when that cauliflower is fork tender and nice and cooked up, you are good to go. I also like to put this over a basmati rice and we're also baking some tofu cubes in the oven to go along with and we season them with some curry powder and salt. And the perfect garnish is a sprig of fresh cilantro and a squeeze of lemon. 